Hello guys and ladies, this is Primo Milk. Here is a tutorial for the most useful transitions pack for Premiere Pro. Here we have a timeline with some footage together. Let's open the transition, the most useful transition folder. Here you can see that there is all the projects together and also we have a project that has all categories together like motion, zoom, glitch, light, all this together. Let's open the all together category. Just click OK to this message to rename the project. OK, here we are. Let's see now here all the categories together. Let's go to the motion category. We can see the preview, real time preview, and fast. And let's drag and drop. In order to drag and drop to your timeline, you have to put, to click this off in order to the transition to be okay. And this is the way that works. All transition they have SFX sound design for you. And let's continue to another category. Let's go to zoom category. Here it is. Here is the transitions. Let's continue to the third category. The glitch category. Let's put a glitch here. Light category. Some they have more, more than one layer. So, so in one category, we have uh, something that you have to, I have to mention. In order the role category to work correct, you have to click here, cut your your footage, and. Nest, both of them like this, in order the roll transition to work correct. This is the way that specific this roll category works. Let's continue to spin category. Let's find a nice Spin move here. Let's reduce the volume of the of the sound of the music. Okay. Stretch category. Let's go here and bring this one. Very nice. You can. Test exactly what you need. There is not a lot of variation. Each one is uh, unique in order to use quickly, to work quickly. VR category. It's something like this. Let's bring another one. Nice. Nine category, split category. Let's find another one. Nice. Also category and the 10 category has a lot of them inside. Almost 60, there is a mix category that combines all these moves with blitzes, with VR, with spin and roll. So you have a, maybe this, you have to make a preview 
to see them. You can get inside and see also how, how it is. As you can see, so here it is. So this is it, how it works. It's very simple to use these transitions and very easy. Uh, let's see now how we how we use the transition on a different workspace like a mobile. Let's delete all of them and let's see now. Let's close this project. Okay, that we import. Let's change the sequence settings here to mobile resolution. Okay, let's put the title a bit smaller and the footage like this. Let's make all these footage now. To, to be full on this uh, sequence and now we open we have to delete some previous files we delete some footage, never mind so now we open the project and we bring again all transitions to our project just click OK to rename again OK, now the important thing to do is to go to the old transition we have a sequence resolution settings that you have to change these settings to Let's say a mobile resolution that we want. Okay. And now, whatever transition you put, you will see you have the transition exactly for this uh, kind for this kind of resolution. So this is the way that works. It's easy for your videos on social media or YouTube, whatever you need. So this is the way that works. I hope you like it. Don't forget to rate. Thank you very much. Bye bye.